How are you doing? Well, here we are in Minecraft Snapshot 13 W02B, and I'm sure you've seen some videos about item sorting, but they all they all require things like minecarts or ridiculously large numbers of whatever item it is you're trying to sort. So they're not really optimal. This uh, after the changes where you can turn the turn hoppers on and off with redstone, I've built this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load up this dispenser with our wool. Turn it on. You're just gonna spit out lots of wool randomly of different colors. I just chose eight colors to test it all out on. <clears throat> As you can see, there's, there's flow over the hoppers. And what we'll see that each chest begins to be filled with just the one color. And let that keep running. And I'll explain how this works. Alright, there's there's a couple of principles that are important here. To start with, alright, you know how the hopper it takes items in. Alright. If you power it, it will not. As soon as you turn this off, in it goes. Another principle, if a hopper is pointing sideways, it will not put items in the hopper below it or any whatever storage is below it because it's trying to put them in the this, in this side but there's nothing there. However, the hopper below it can still suck the items out of it unless it's powered. So I can put a sword here. It doesn't get pulled out until I turn this hopper on. And here it is in the bottom. Okay. So, if I have a bunch of cobblestone in here, right, I got 21 cobblestone and one glass, that's 22 items, 22 is the lowest number that will just power for one block using the comparator. As soon as there are 22 items in this, that wire is going to activate, which will, of course, kill this torch, killing the power here, allowing this to suck items out of here. So, take some glass, put that in there, and now as you see, this is active, unactive, and that hopper is pulling out items and putting them there. Now as soon as we get back down, it stops. Because now the signal strength is just one, and that's all that. So you can fill the, comp or the, the hopper with waste items, like cobblestone or dirt or whatever you want, just to get it up to barely under the charge necessary to activate. Then put one of whatever item you're trying to sort into that hopper. So th the only things that can go into this hopper are cobblestone and glass. As long as you don't have any cobblestone in your system, or whatever it is you, you have in here, 
the only thing that will go over in there is the glass. So, as you can see, looks like yeah, the dispenser finished all of those. All sorted out. The only problem is there seems to be something of a bug with the hopper that sometimes items just pass over it. So we got this wool. And that wool did not get sorted for some reason. One thing, what I've noticed is when a hopper can't accept an item, whether it's because all the slots are full of other things or because it's turned off, you notice that the drop likes to bounce. And I think that bouncing effect is causing it to sometimes skip over the proper hopper. And I'll demonstrate if I can put this chest, turn it on. See, these are the only colors that are, the, this hopper's full, so nothing else can go in it. And it still does this bouncing effect. And you'll notice, if put all, watch to see see that bounce and I think something about that bouncing effect is letting them skip their hopper I put glass over the top of it and all around the sides to try to minimize that effect but it still seems like there is a significant number of blocks that wind up in this chest at the end which, of course, I added just for this purpose, so that they don't despawn. Of course, you can always just stick those back in the beginning or construct a system that pulls them back to the beginning to try to resort. I just didn't, didn't put that much time into this yet. Well, there you have it. Simple sorting. Doesn't require a lot of expensive items. Have a good day.